Alright everybody, welcome to how to make a Rust server that you and your friends can play on. Um, this is relatively easy and it shouldn't take awfully too long. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. Alright, the first thing you're going to need uh, to download is a torrent. Well actually you might want to port forward Rust first. Uh, if you want to port forward Rust, then the default ports to port forward it are shown above as 28015 and 28016. You'll want to port forward this in TCP and UDP. Uh, you can do this through your router website or you can do what I do which is use a application port mapper uh, which is it's basically uh, Mac the uh, Mac uses these a lot but uh, you can't run them on Windows, but I happen to stumble upon one that's in application form. You download it like this, and you can uh, you can essentially port forward all the things you need for Rust. Alright, the next step that you want to do after that is download this torrent. The link will be in the description. Uh, all you need to do is download the ser- this is supposed to be a hacked Rust, essentially. But all you need to do is download the server client for it. Uh, so essentially how you do that is when you open up uTorrent, maybe next month, uh, try that again. Alright, there we go. When you open up uTorrent and you are downloading it, you want to go into files and uh, you see Rust server version 1069 installer.exe, wait till that gets to 100%. Or you can just stop all of these before they download. As you can see, I stopped this one at 80%. After you do this, you're simply going to want to double click on this and continue. And you will be brought to this segment right here. Um, as you can see, we have Rust Client Installer, which you don't want to use any of this. You just want to click right here on Rust Server Installer. Basically, when you click on the Rust server installer, if it will load maybe next month, it is going to, uh, yeah, yeah, it's removing it for some reason, uh, whatever. Yeah, Norton's kind of weird. Uh, anyways, once you, uh, okay, that's great. Once you download that, I had my antivirus turned off earlier, so it was able to download, my apologies. It's not a virus, I guarantee it. You'll be fine, because here's everything right here. Alright, what you want to do once you get all that is make sure that your Steam is indeed up, so it will connect to Steam. And what you want to do is uh, make sure that I believe... Mm, no, 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 you should be fine just as long as Steam is up. And you click on Run Server and it will say Rust Dedicated Server and everything will uh, load up. It'll look like this when it starts to load. Everything's good if uh, if it goes well. So yeah, there you go. Uh, it's just uh, completing a few things, loading the save file. Yes, you can save everyone's loot and uh, the world. So basically once you load up the server, it's a simple process of finding your server. Alright, your server should now be showing up if you have indeed port forwarded, and make sure you did port forward TCP and UDP 28, yeah, 28015 and 28016 in TCP and UDP both. Alright, after you do this, it's a, uh, it's a simple process of finding your server. Your server should be the one server that is going to be the lowest ping. So it shouldn't be too bad um, to find. It uh, Sometimes it won't show up, but basically your name of it will be My Server. Uh, it shouldn't be anything else other than My Server. If you get on any other server that isn't called My Server, you're not on the right one. Uh, there might be multiple My Servers, but you'll know this one because it will be the only server that has the lowest ping for you. As you can see, we have my server running right now with uh, 4 ping on it. That is the server that uh, I have made. So yes, my server, that is your server. Uh, to prove that, as you can see, we have server initialized. I'll go ahead and join my server. I'll probably lag to death. I don't have the best computer. 
I'll let everything load up right here. And guys, this is a very simple process. It shouldn't take over maybe 10 minutes. Uh, only after I guide you through all this, uh, it'll take all the complicated matters out of the equation. Alright, so it's essentially waiting for character. As you can see, I've given myself some things here. Well, I'm actually not lagging. Uh, you can do this, and I'll show you how later. You can give yourself certain items as an admin. Um, but yes, this is uh, this is my server, and to prove that, here we have uh, console. Console. Um, okay. So we're going to go ahead and close out of Rust, because, you know, I guess it's wanting to freeze. Alright, that's great. That's nice first. Alright, here we go, here we go. Making progress, guys. My apology for uh, this stupidity of rust. Alright, there we go. To prove that, as you can see, server connected, that's called Swagmate, which is my name. And then user disconnected, or more like crashed. So... Yeah, that is your server. Uh, you can do whatever you want on here, but you might be thinking to yourself, how do I do what I want? And that's what I'm here to show you. I want to make sure you can maintain this server. So essentially, the first thing you're going to want to do, if you want to do anything as an admin, is go ahead and type in your console, excuse me, archon.password. Now, basically what archon is, it's a... Uh, I don't really know what it is, but it does allow you to control your server as an admin. If you don't have this, you can't be the admin you want to be. You can't be that guy. So you want to change it with a uh, quotation mark to something like ABC. I believe my... yes. Okay, so now you have your Archon password changed to ABC. The next thing you're, wanting, you're going to want to do is log into Archon through your server which you can easily do by typing in the following in game using F1 which is your console I believe it's I'm not quite sure actually on that um, this is a, a good thing to have on handy too a really good thing you want to uh, go to this link I'll include it sorry I didn't have it up already guys uh, it's all the server admin commands you can use on rust so it's it's pretty useful as you can imagine I mean if you don't know what kind of uh... I'm sorry my computer does this sometimes it decides it doesn't want to connect to the internet okay oh well um, there's some command I'll put it in the description later so check that out my apologies again you can do that or you can go download rusty now you'll still need to log in as admin so it's important I do put that up later but Rusty is something you're, you can also be an admin with, but you do it outside of the game, which is a lot easier and it's a lot better set up. You're simply going to want to scroll down once you click on this thread, which I will also put in the description. Uh, excuse me, never mind, don't scroll all the way down. It should be right here. Uh, download zip. You can download Rusty. Um, you pretty much just extract this to wherever you want it to go. I put mine in my Rust directory along with all the server files just I just put rusty right in here and basically what rusty does is it allows you to connect into archon using the password and it allows you to pretty much be the admin you wanted to be so my config name for right now I just named it derp uh, I'll go ahead and type in the password of ABC hit save um, these are the stats you're going to need for your server just these stats exactly make sure you copy these down alright and you will be fine do not make my mistake as long as you have set a password you will be fine I took like an hour because I forgot to set a password alright next you're going to hit connect now it should connect to your server it will display this bunch of crap um, archon connected from Tracy's and now you have a ton of these stupid little green things it just means you're connected and now you can be an admin that you wanted to be in a simple way. You can manage the players on your server. As you can see, there's no one on, of course. 
Alright, you can say things on your server, such as, um, this, which is a nice thing. So, I'm guessing it said it on the server. Uh, yeah, there it is. Alright, um, so yeah. You can also manage these admin logs, which will tell you what people are doing. As well as that, here's the fun thing. You can set the time on your server, so I want it to be earlier. Boom. The time in my server is now 9 a.m. It's going to be light outside instead of dark. I can cause an airdrop to occur on my server at any time. As well as my most favorite thing. If you click on gear under the admin tab, you can uh, set all your gear around, go to players. Uh, basically, you click on a player and you can select from all the items in the game and how many you want to give to someone. So once you have that person's name highlighted, say I want to give them an M4 and I want to give them one M4, I simply click on their name and then give item and it'll give them the items that they need. You can also target a player from here and you can teleport them to any of these locations as well as any specific X, Y, and Z coordinate. I'm pretty sure, I don't know this for a fact, I'm just going out on a limb because it has a Z coordinate. You could put someone at 10,000 altitude using Z and you could just completely drop them from the sky and kill them if you're an abusing admin. Which is just you know, one of the perks of being an admin and owning a server. So essentially, this is how you're going to run your server for the most part. This is going to how, this is like how you're going to screw around with your friends and have fun. Sadly, I don't know how to set a password if there is some way to do that. Kudos to someone for finding it out and putting it up on YouTube or uh, telling. You might want to tell me too because that's the thing I would like to know. Alright, next up, I'm just going to do this quickly because it has happened to me. Um, say you screw around a lot on your server and you end up building a gigantic house of death. Like, completely stupid house. Or you really screw up on something or you end up, you know, I guess, I don't know, you, you completely spam foundations across the map. Uh, you're probably going to want to delete that because, you know, when your friends get on later, you're going to have a bunch of spammed platforms everywhere and it's going to ruin your immersion. So if you go into server data, and I'm awfully sure it is under, yeah, it's just under server data right here. These are your save files. You can simply scroll over these and hit delete. It will delete them. And therefore, it will reset your server. However, it will not reset the gear that people have. So if you spawn yourself in a thousand wooden planks and all this other stuff, uh, deleting that is not going to help you too much. It's just going to delete what you spammed across the map. And if you want to play legit after that, you can go jump off of a building or something. Alright, so with all this being said, it's not too hard. It's really not that hard to manage and host a Rust server for your friends to screw around on. It's relatively easy and not very laggy at all. Um, I believe I was going to show you all one more thing about Rust. Um, I'm trying to think here. Something that I came into contact later. Um, had something to do with commands. I'm sorry. Maybe now I can uh, load my internet. Alright, yay. These are all your admin commands. These are very useful. That's how you log in, right there. I will put that in the chat. Alright. I believe it was... I really can't think at the moment. Alright, but anyways, this is just everything you need to know. I'll give you guys a link to all this in the description. Um, thanks for watching. And uh, if anything comes up, I will update it in the description. So that description is really important if you want to actually play on your Rust server. So, yeah. Thank you for watching.